Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of the Shallow Water Adventures with Keith and Jeffrey. I am Jeffrey. I'm Keith. We got it right this time. Hey, hey, I'm pretty excited time. about that. I know. So that's really good. Welcome, everybody, to our special Thanksgiving episode. We are excited to be here. As you can see, we are actually in a boat blind right now. We're in Dave's boat blind. Um, we're actually out here um, on the hunt. We're looking. We're looking for. We're looking. You're even holding your gun. You are so ready. So if if all of a sudden you hear. Um, or that phone just falls right off and everybody starts shooting, you'll know why. Because that's much more important than all of you and watching this little show. Yes, right? it is. Um, Locked so, and loaded. Yes, so today we have a really um, excellent episode. We're going to try and keep it short because we do want to get to some ducks here in a little bit. But we have so much to give away. We're really excited about this. Our sponsor stepped up in a really, really big way and we have got just we've got a boatload here i mean we've got so much that we've got to give away right here um so a couple of things to start with when we start to give these away jody who we remember who's done some of our camera work you all love jody um she is going to be our final judge she's the one who will make the final decision on who gets the prize when we start to when we start to give these away so i don't want anybody out there crying and and being mad at us because you thought years went first it's not our fault it's jody so you can yell at jody when that happens okay but we'll talk about this in a little bit when we get to it but first as always uh keith what's been happening what's what's the deal just been busy working on the phone it's nice to get out of the shop nice to get out of the shop and today's nice it's a beautiful day beautiful day out here today we're really excited about it the winds there's just enough of a breeze kind of coming across the water it should be really nice hopefully we're going to get some of these uh ducks here in a little bit our, our guide he guaranteed us shooting today no he really did so if we don't shoot today we and, might not have a guide anymore yeah we came to <laughs> <laughs> See, you can hear him already. That was a sick guy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So also, Keith, um, I just have to. So what's 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 going on here? What happened? What is this? Jeffrey? After I got home and I cleaned up all the red when I was uh, when you were Freddie. King? When I was Freddie King, I, I got a new trimmer. My wife got me a new beard trimmer. I thought, you know, I'm going to got all the red out. I thought I'll just spruce it up, clean it up a little bit. It's getting a little straggly for me. <laughs> and that new trimmer. It attacked me. I took one big swipe up from the neck to the top, and I was in tears. No, so you act you accidentally cut it. I put the wrong guard on the new trimmer, and now we're we're not clean shaven, but we've only got like a three day growth but you on got here. Three days, so you're working hard to get it back to that yes. glorious beard that you yes. had before. Yes, it was. Uh, oh, it was, it was a devastating, depressing day. It was. It was a it was I, a hard all day. All that gray was looking so good. Oh man. <laughs> And now well, it's I gone. I understand that. That's oh, that's hard. hard. So everybody, you can give not lots of like thumbs up and loves to Keith for his missing beard because he's really, really sad about he's it. He's too lazy to look at what it's supposed to be. It just doesn't what he thinks it's it, good. Yeah, well, somebody doesn't. Somebody's not looking. Um, okay, so also what I wanted to talk about while well, we've got more people jumping on um, last night was the. Uh, it was the election. Did you? Yes. Uh, I watched a little bit of it. Did you watch yes. a little bit of the election? I myself am very tired. I was up all night watching the election. I'm kind of a, I'm kind of a news junkie that way. I love, I love, uh, I love the news. I like to watch it. Nine thirty, you were in 9:30, bed. Nine thirty, I was in oh, bed. Oh please, yeah. man, I, that's because you're th a thousand years old. I am old, so Jeez. I go to bed at nine thirty. You you were in bed by nine thirty. I was watching, but what I thought was so interesting is that we do this live every week, one a week, and they are up there that whole time. They would, I mean. That was all live last night, and they are so good. They gave me a lot of respect for them having done this live. I, I have respect for, you know, these uh, these newscasters. Because they do it for hours, and we do it for minutes. I mean, minutes. <laughs> and they were up there trying to come up with something, because how many times can you point at the state of Florida? Literally, I mean, like, over and over Florida. But really, that and the most impressive thing is is their knowledge of geography. Like, these guys know more geography than than anybody else they can tell you every county and every state and, and point to it right like they're not even labeled so they're really impressive i thought that was pretty exciting well i can tell you where we are where we're are in, we we're in northern utah we sure are if you say any more i think you might get shot at. i might get shot the, the gun's not pointing directly at me but i did see a wave as i was uh yeah so we're somewhere up in uh we're somewhere in northern utah. northern utah absolutely far enough that it was uh that we're a good distance from the office and there's swans here. But close enough that we can drive to it. And we've so seen swans. Is. And we've seen swans. You Absolutely. Can't shoot them, but they're here. Dude, you're going to get shot. You better That's take all it I'm easy. Saying. All right. 
So good. Um, well, welcome everybody. For those of you who are just jumping on or have just jumped on, it is our big Thanksgiving giveaway episode. We've got so much stuff that we're going to give away here in just a few minutes. And how we're going to do this is that we are going to ask you questions and we are going to give away this prize, these prizes to the people who answer correctly first. Now, Jody is back at headquarters and she's going to be the one deciding who's came up because sometimes on this phone when I'm watching I don't see every comment that comes through sometimes people get mad and they don't see Keith's wife is always yelling at me because you I never see comments. her comments I never see the comments so Jody is back on the computers mission control yes and she's going to be doing it Jody if you are on there say hi hi oh Jody. no no I mean Jody she's going to post here and then she will be saying who it was that won. I hope this works. Our service is a little spotty. It's always it's always a little difficult. So I want everybody to please be patient. Please be kind. We're uh, hopefully this will be as fair as we can possibly make it. Do you see something? No. No, you didn't see I'm anything. I'm just looking though, because if I see something, I'm just gonna make a and deafen all ooh, of us. Right? To Dave, oh, okay. And Dave's gonna blow the call. Speaking of, Dave is our guide. He's the one that brought us here. This is actually his blind. This is the uh, BPS Fast Grass blind. So big shout out to BPS. They they make an awesome blind. If you're looking for one, this is the one. Dave, give us a little uh, call from out there. That was Dave. That's Dave. Because that's not Keith. <laughs> that's not, and it is not Jeffrey. I tell you what. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> so Jody is on. She just said hi. That's Jody Hatch on here. She's going to be the one. Um, oh, Candace is on. We got everybody's watching. This is a big deal, everybody. We're really excited. Um, so we're going to get to this here in just a second. Is there anything that I have forgotten? Is anybody unaware of the rules? Do I need to do some shout outs? I should probably do some shout outs before some we get shout -outs. some. I just want to mention that this little baby right here, my friend is not part of the auction. We are not giving her you're not, away. You're not giving that away? No, no, right. no, no. Okay, here we go. A couple a couple of shout outs here for us. Uh, Bubba Ramsey, still two weeks for the Tennessee opener. Two oh, sorry, weeks. Bubba. I hope it we might, get some, some of this stuff. You. If you win something, you know, maybe this stuff will get to you in time. Stephen Cross, hey guys, the blind looks good. Hey, Stephen, thanks for watching. Brandon Webb is on. Brandon's the man. Um, Ramzilla, please tell me y'all have a Ramzilla out in the spread. Dave, do we have a Ramzilla? Ram We've got a Godzilla. We don't have no Ramzilla. <laughs> but no Ramzilla. Um, oh, 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 we've got um, Scrushel, original boot and shoe cleaner. These guys are on. It's Bob from Scrusher. He, um, he is watching. Hey, Bob. Hey, Good Bob. to have you on, Bob. Um, with Scrusher, they're one of our newest sponsors, brand new sponsors, and we are going to give one of their uh, one of their shoe cleaner, shoe and boot cleaner away today. And Thanks for watching, you guys. That's awesome. Uh, we've got Travis on, so if you have any questions, there will be somebody who actually knows what they're talking about. And he's a good expert with the duck call. So if you have any questions, whether it's uh, hey, what hey, is it? Hey, uh, Dave, you've got an expert listening to you with your deck with your duck call. So yeah, Travis is he, judging you. I'm not worried. He's competition call. Oh, I got you. <laughs> You're the real call. thing. There's a difference. <laughs> well, good, good, Ever, lucky. Um, we got Jerry Johnson, Paul Collins. How do I determine? Oh, this is an actual question. Uh oh. Oh. I left that part of my brain a hole. I know, uh, Paul Collins. How do I determine what size replacement belt? you need for my hdr your hdr most likely if it's a 2017 or newer it should be a tall should be a tall it should be a tall it is written on the belt so if you pull the clutch cover off if your belt's not broken you can roll it or turn the prop around roll up the belt and it'll either say 1280 or 1440 most likely it's a 1440 that's what all the new stuff is now Awesome. Bubba Ramsey. Keith looks like a teenager. <laughs> I, I don't feel like a teenager. <laughs> I know. Too, I mean, that, that is not an appropriate answer to a question. Too bad, because, uh, you know. Um, Heather Akins, hello from Georgia. David Williams, no shave November. Absolutely. Um, we're with you on that one. I started a couple days late. You Sorry. did stay a couple days late. Now, um, Nathaniel Melton's on. Jeff Fuchs is on. Nathaniel Melton, how cold is it there? Um, Nathaniel, it's not very cold. It's about, what, 44, 40, 45? In fact, I'll tell you right now, it is 44. 44. 44 degrees. That's my fancy Apple watch because I'm a, I'm a boss that way. <laughs> <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, let's see, Matt. Oh, they've got snow in North Wisconsin. Of course you do because it's Wisconsin and you should just. They got good cheese there too, though. Yeah. Some curds it, it in makes the boat. it makes the cold worth it. 
Just no, kidding. Doesn't. Uh, Paul Collins, my first live show. Paul, welcome. Welcome, welcome to Paul. the show. You're in the shallow water now, my friend. And we're in the shallow water, too. Jeff that's Toy. muddy. It is really muddy. Um, hi from Michigan. Expecting our first snowfall this Saturday. Awesome. We got Ricky on. Ryan Brown is on. Christopher Tanner Benton. Uh, no, we got Dave, we can't shoot seagulls. <laughs> oh, damn. <laughs> Tell Ricky we got lots of ducks out there. Working away. Yeah, we absolutely do. We got all our lucky ducks out there. We got a few weeks of season. So many. Oh, you guys are awesome. There's so many here. Uh, big so big shout out to everybody. Uh, lots of people from Michigan, which is awesome. Swiftwaters is on. We love the, the people from Swiftwater. Oh, man. Okay, so let's get into this. We got to get started. We got to get started. We got so much to give away. All right, so I am going to start with our very first question, everybody. Get ready. Oh, crap. Ambry? 7569. 7569. Now you all know. <laughs> My iPad. <laughs> okay, this is four. We're going to start out. We're going to start right away. We got a deep apparel blue shirt. This is a short sleeve performance material uh, fishing shirt. This is a great, great shirt. Love it. Here is the question. Now, the person who answers this correctly first is going to win this prize. Um, and Jody will be deciding. So, what were the names of the three duck spreads that we talked about a few episodes ago? I know. Shut up, Keith. Mo, Larry, and Curly. <laughs> Mo, Larry, and Curly. That's what, that's what Dave said. There were three different... There are three different ones. What were they called? That is your first question. You now have 30 seconds. I'm just kidding. You don't. You don't. <laughs> In fact, if you, can't, if you can't answer these questions, if there are still questions unanswered, we will wait until they do get answered and give that away. So we may not be giving away all these prizes while we're here on this live, but we will eventually. All right. We're getting some answers in. Um, there are three of them. What are the names of the three duck spreads? That we uh, that, that we we used. we used we used we used we drew them up remember and I won yes you won <laughs> I, you beat I Dave and I because okay. I beat Dave and you because I know everything yes so what were the names of the three duck spreads go all right I'm gonna move on to the next uh, question the next question Jody hey, just, can, uh, Jody can handle it Candace is texted she oh, we have... keeps going a little blurry it keeps going a little blurry Candace texted yeah. Keith, everybody stop what you're doing. Keith's getting a phone call. No, it was just a text. Oh, just a text. All Nobody right. Nobody important, I'm sure. Nobody important. All right. Okay, so next question. This, this is for one that you've all been waiting for. This is for the deep dry bag. This is amazing. Oh, this is amazing. This one right here, it's got the XL on it. This is a brilliant prize. It's a large uh, dry bag. I've been using, I've got my other one around here somewhere that I use. I carry my uh, camera equipment in it. I mean, it's, it's a brilliant bag. Really, really nice, expensive bag. So we're going to give this one away. Here is the question. What <laughs> what ridiculous item came out of Keith's dry bag in episode three? And you have to tell me how many episodes has it been seen since? I don't know. What was the item and how many episodes has it been in? That'll be a number. Okay. No color. There's your next question. All right. I'm just going to check and see. No, I don't think we've got a winner on the next one. She has not said, at least on mine. All righty. So that was for the dry bag. What ridiculous item came out of Keith's bag in episode three? And how many episodes has it been in since? I will tell you, it will not fit. Yeah, it won't fit. No. Not going to fit. All right. Question three. This is for, uh, let's see, the Tangle Free. This is for the tree strap. Here we go. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, right here. Timber strap right here is what we're giving away right now. Uh, this you wrap around a tree and you can hang all your, your bags and your clothes and your wives and... Which we don't need out here. For we don't need out here because we don't have timber, so we're going to give it away instead of keep it. That's what we're going to do. All right. I love this question too. What is Freddie King's catchphrase? I Freddie know. King's. You do know. You want to say you it? Were, no, I don't want okay. you to say it. What is Freddie King's catchphrase? That is for the Tangle Free tree strap, which we thought was appropriate because he, un he uns all the timber he does. out there. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. That is a good one. No Jody with a winner yet? Let's see. She yeah. might. I got to scroll yeah. through. No, it doesn't look like it. That was Candace who takes it. Oh, but I know we do have some. I have seen some. Yeah, I've seen some winners for that Tangle Free Strap. That's place. awesome. The place. Okay. The place. Next up, we're going to do a pair of native sunglasses. These, I I asked, I, I want them to send me a pair because I, 
I could use. They're really excellent. They're really, really great they're sunglasses. Really hard to get out of the box. Yeah, they're really nice. We've actually been holding on to these for almost like more than six months now. I think we've had these, and they are uh, they're really brilliant. Hey guys, I think my gas is better. Can I come hunt in the blind now? No. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Keep out of the blind, Dave. Dave had chili for lunch. Oh yeah, man! Hey. Blind, you know, I'll take those. You take those back. <laughs> so did you see those pretty glasses? Those glasses. All right. Here is the question. For the native sunglasses, what is our producer's name and how many kids does she have? Oh, oh, I know, I know. Keith, of course you know. You wrote these questions. I wrote some of them. Yeah, you wrote Not some of them. them. What is our producer's name and how many kids does she have? That is your question. That's for the native sunglasses. All righty. If nobody Next. wins them, can I have them? Yes. Okay. We'll call for them. There we go. You and I will have a call. And, uh, <laughs> all right. Next up, uh, we got the Lucky Duck Cup. This oh, is Lucky one of our Duck favorites. Cup? Yes. You changed it. Um, this is our brilliant. Uh, we love these. These Lucky Duck. Um, what is it? A tumbler. It's a little or a coffee cup. I don't know what you call it, but it's a it's a little coffee cup. It's brilliant. And from our buddies at Lucky Duck. From our buddies at Lucky Duck. What is Ricky's obsession? Oh. Now, do you all remember Ricky? If you don't, you're going to have to go back and watch. But Ricky's got a little bit of an obsession with it's something. It's not a little bit of an ob obsession. Kind of a big obsession. It's a big one. What is it? What is he obsessed with? That is for the Lucky Duck Cup. Oh, we've got a winner. Let's see. I've got Sid Thiessen is the winner. I'm not sure of which one. But, Sid, you oh, want something. That's awesome. It's for mine. And it's That's, Tyson. She got a... It's Sid Thyson. Thyson. Sid and Thyson. It's, it's for my kids. And she's the way you guessed the, the uh, Ambry's name. Fantastic. Good win? job. He can't win. He's a dealer. Sid is? Sid's a dealer for Fast Duck Motors in uh, I don't Astor, know, but he's Florida. Been is, he, uh, is he a big fan of the show? No. Oh, well then no. He can't win. I don't I, know if he... I think it's too late. I think Jody made that decision, so okay, it's Sid, all done there. We'll send you. Okay. All right, listen. Listen, listen. Speaking of duck calling... Uh -oh. We've got a an Echo Calls, because we love everybody at Echo Calls. I'm going to give away the answer right there. Adam Thornton won Enrique's question. Adam Thornton is the winner. And what was that answer? That was fire. fire. Ricky's obsessed with fire Why don't right we now. have Dave blow oh, that so it, it actually sounds good? So the this XLT, is this the is, XLT. This is the loud call that reaches out. When did Dave? Yes. Go ahead and blow that for us, Dave. Let's see how loud... How loud you can blow it, Dave? All right, stop, stop showing off. All right, he's showing off. Travis, I want you to... Uh, All right, Dave's trying to trade it for one of you. <laughs> he's going to switch it in his pocket. All right. I already got two. So this is, this is the X, Echo XLT. And this is going to go to the first person to tag... All of this episode's sponsors. $130 call there. It's a $130 call. All you have to do is make a comment, and in that comment, tag all of those sponsors. There's a lot of sponsors. There are a lot of sponsors this time, and I'm not going to tell you where to find them, though. They are all readily available. First person to tag all of those sponsors will get that Echo call. Good luck, Jody. <laughs> <laughs> all righty. Next up, we've got a... Hold that for me. I'm going to reach in. Next, we've got... Hi, everybody. Close up. Everybody loves an extreme close-up. We've got a BPS hoodie right here for you. I have one of these. I don't. Oh. I have a nice sweatshirt. I mean, this is sure. my favorite. I wear it all the time. It's got that really great performance material. Really nice. BPS sweatshirt. We love everybody at BPS. Uh, they are, they're great. We love them. Um, here's the question. To win that sweatshirt, when Keith was sick, who was the guest host? Who was our guest host stood next to me? Because you were gone when Keith was sick. Dave. Who was that? It was not Dave. Okay. No, I mean, Keith's still sick. <laughs> yeah, Keith, Keith would be dead. All right. Great. Okay, so when Keith was sick, who was the guest host? That is for the sweatshirt. All righty. Moving on. Oh. Ooh. Oh, boy. Here. Hold that again. I'll hold this. All right. This is one of my favorite items that we have. This is, this is the big dog right here, everybody. Get a load of this. This is a big blade prop. Oh, we're giving away another prop. 
We're crazy. We have I to guess. thank somebody for letting us give those away. All right. Yep, we really do. Um, we're going to say a big thanks to Glenn Foreman, our, uh, our trusty CEO, um, inventor, our wise man extraordinaire, the one who knows and started all of this. It's all because of him. He saw fit, loves you all enough to give, so, to give one of you a brand new big blade prop. So uh, let's do it. You want to ask that question? Okay. The big blade prop. Name the three pumpkin carvers. And the job titles. Oh, that's gonna be that's tough. A, that's gonna be a tough one. So that might take a little research. Work for that one. You're yeah. gonna have to work for that one. So on the Halloween episode, which was last week, last week there were three pumpkin carvers besides me because I was one of them, but nobody cares. There were three of them. What were their names and what were their job titles? All right. We may not get to, somebody may not answer that one while we're live, but just. Put it in the comments just as soon as you can, and we're going to give you that big blade prop. That is... And we're going to make you work for that big blade We're going to make prop. you work we're for this big blade. We're not going to give it away. Because that is awesome. Thank you, Glenn, for letting us do that. Everybody say thank you, Glenn, um, in your comments as well, because he's amazing. And he's probably watching, so don't say anything mean. Is he watching? You think he's I watching live? You think he's watching live? Glenn, Good if you're day. watching live, post. Well, say hey. They may be on their way back from the little trip that they had. No, so right. they may be in the air somewhere. They may be in the air. That's right. All right. Okay. Uh, let's let's do an XL hat. Where'd it go? Oh. Oh, right here. It's this. It's this one right here. Okay. Um, it's the Sitka the Sitka Brown hat. Who won the duck call competition? <laughs> We've already even said it already today. It's not um, fair. It was I rigged. Know. No, it wasn't. It Who was. won the duck call competition? That's for the XL hat. All right, moving on. Let's do the camo tangle free hat. This one right here, yes. That one right there. That's the tangle free. Uh, we love tangle free. They've they've helped us out a lot. We really like them. What is the name of our boat? The marketing boat, the boat that we travel in. What is its name? That's what we're looking for. That is for the camo tangle free hat. <laughs> I should have I should have made him say what actual model it is. But it is an XL F4, but there it has a name. So what is that name? That's for the hat. Okay, I'll put that back. All right, let's do the brown tank. Oh, it's tea. brown, all right. What did you do? That was our friend Lucy. Our friend, our uh, she's, our beautiful friend Lucy, she's the dog, hanging out on the on the dog's uh, junk. This one, so little table, and but uh, we have another one back at yes, home we that do. we will send you. But this is the, for the tangle free. This is like that wax covering. Yes, these wax are covering. really great. Uh, a little mud won't hurt that. And yeah. a little mud, you know. It's actually, you pay extra for the mud. It's water resistant. Water resistant. Yeah, it's really awesome. So that one is. Here's your question. In the duck call episode, <laughs> I don't like that. Episode. <laughs> In the duck call episode, was it ticka ticka or was it chucka chucka? That's I your don't question. know, man. That's your question. Ask was Travis. it was it ticka ticka or chucka chucka? <laughs> <laughs> All right, okay. So that's your question. That's for the brown tangle if you, free if hat. You text Travis real quick. He'll give you the answer. Yeah, he might. Um, All right. Uh, I've got a gunsling in here. Let's do the Tangle Free Gunsling. Tangle Free Gunsling. We're going to give this away to the first person to tag five friends in the comments below. Tag five of your friends. First person to do that wins the gunsling. And Keith, Jeffrey, and our producer. Yeah. You can't use us as your friends. Yes. And it, yeah, if they work at Mud Buddy, they don't count. Right. Got it. Okay. Good one. Sweet. Here we go. Okay. Ooh. Oh boy. This one's gonna be a little tough. This is another tough one. This one. Myself in too. Oh my gosh. Are you just knock everything in the mud not... again? <laughs> we got. Of a, been a little bit difficult here. Here we go. This way. All right. This is a lucky duck decoy set. Right. What do yeah. we call? Is there? Is it, it had a name and I saw it. It had a name and you saw it. I don't remember. Lucky it's pair. a lucky duck pair two motorized spinning. Wing decoy. Motorized spinning wing decoy. Since 1995. Because they're awesome. Lucky Duck decoys. We got a whole set of decoys here for you. All you have to do is tell us what show does Lucky Duck and Dakota decoys co-sponsor? What do they co-sponsor? There is a show that the two of them uh, sponsor. We're, uh, we're a big fan. You'll see our boat on it and our motors too. Uh, the, the XL F4 is I think what they've got and they've got a Mud Buddy as well. Um, what show? What is that called? They were just here last year did a show. They sure were. And if you are a fan of the Facebook channel, you see I post all of their episodes as soon yes. as they come up. 
So, what is that show? That is for the decoys. That's a good one. Okay, let's do it's right in front of this one. All right, so I've got a peat dryer. This is a waiter dryer little um, apparatus here. This will hang your uh, waiters on it, which I wish I had, because I'm gonna need it after today. Um, this is it, this is our new friends, Pete Dryer. We're happy, uh, brand new sponsor. So thank you guys, we love all of them. Name three bad ways we use to unfreeze your throttle cables. There were three inappropriate ways we used. What were the three of them? That is for the Pete Dryers. All right. I think Trent's was the best one. I agree. I really like Trent's. I thought his was hilarious. Okay, some of you are probably seeing, and Jody had said that sometimes um, it's going a little blurry. It's kind of blurring in and out. That's actually a signal problem because we're out in the middle of nowhere. Um, that it's our it's the signal. So please bear with us. We're gonna try and uh, keep that going as much as possible. Um, I, I would... Jody just said we've got Rob Rob Rasmussen is a winner of something. I'm not sure which, but Rob, congrats. I would tell you where we're at, but Dave, Dave, Dave just would over literally my kill you. Bro. I know. Before Blow he was out a up. little bit, but now he's like right here. It might be okay since we haven't seen her. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're going to pin drop where pretty, we were. Oh, man. So you You're can welcome shoot to all it. the ducks. Yeah. Okay. Oh, let's see. I've got a peat dryer hat, hat right here um, that we're going to give away. This hat, here is the question for you. Last episode, we had two very special guests. Who were they? Who were our two special guests last week? There were we, two of them, we, and they were very special. We mentioned one of them. <laughs> yeah? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I wasn't on last week. No. no, you were not on. We went really special, Dave. Uh, we just didn't go special. Was that it? We're missing one. What are we missing? We're, we're missing, missing one. I haven't given this away. Yes, you gave that no, away you already. Didn't. That was one of the first. No, you talked about it. I uh, talked about it. I'm uh -oh. pretty sure. I did we're not give away the actual was, boot cleaner. I think they were the together with the hat and the crusher. <laughs> You're right. It was. That question has the... Okay, well, I got to show you this. Okay. I was going to say that was kind of a hard question for yeah. just here. Hold, oh, you got it. All right. This is the uh, crusher boot cleaner with rack and the hat goes with it. Uh, this, this little set would also be really nice. I could probably keep my office a little cleaner if I had one of these. What two special guests appeared in episode six? That was last week's episode. That is for, uh, yeah, for the hat and the, the beat cleaner. All right. And that's all of our prizes. That's, that's everything. That was a lot. That was a lot. We hauled that all the way out here into the into the shallow water just for you guys. So, <laughs> congratulations, all of you winners! Uh, it looks like Jody is just nailing it. She's getting all those out. So that's um, awesome. Everybody, big shout out to Jody. Thank you so much for uh, stopping your hard, hard work. We're probably gonna she gonna be to mad? I, I like that. She does work really hard, of course, We're but she had to have stop to buy that. Her so, lunch. yeah, we might. We might do that. She'd be okay with that. I think so. All right. Hey, Jody, we're going to buy you lunch. We'll shoot you a duck. We'll shoot a duck and yeah. cook it for you. Yeah, we'll bring it. If we shoot a duck, we'll bring it to you work You know how tomorrow. to clean them, Jody? Yeah, I'm sure. Jody, Dave wants to know if you can clean a hey, duck. that would be a good episode. That would be a really good episode. Really yeah, right? <laughs> I'm not a plucking them. Nope, no plucking. All right, so, so far it looks like we've just got lots of questions, a lot of answers coming back. We've had people um, tagging, um, lots of stuff. You guys are so great, everybody. Sure. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being fans of the show. Please like and share um, so we can keep doing this. We really, we really appreciate you uh, sticking with us. Um, we've got more to come. We're going to be on next week, the same time, same bad time, same bad channel um, in the shallow water. So thank you so much. Any any last thing Actually, that I forgot? Uh, can you show the decoy spread? Oh, that's that's a good call. We should show what where we are a little bit. And... Deadly decoy spread. Yeah. All right, look the, at this. The no wind decoy spread. You can spread. see a lot of coots in this marsh. So we have primarily coots. Probably have about 80 coot decoys. Widgeon, where there's coots, there's widgeon because widgeon are robbers. Widgeon will wait for the coots, bring up the sago pond weed, and snatch it from them. We have some lucky ducks out there with some motion because our wind died. Uh, we got a dozen Dakota decoys. We got a awesome looking spread. There's one problem. There's no ducks out here. We're just waiting for the ducks. I, I think our hot tip, Dave, wasn't so hot. It was not. No. Nope. Things change. You know, it's cold north of here. I was hoping for a question. I know. I was promised cold. You told me to dress really, really warm, that it was going to be crazy, crazy cold. Yeah, yeah, no, that's true. 20 degrees. 
It is warm. You just don't have the humidity you have in the Midwest. So true. So true. Um, all right, we're going to call it there. We're going to try and get some shooting done. We may pop on live if anything happens exciting um, as we're as we're. We're waiting. Gonna, we're waiting. Now we're, we're going to do the favorite part of duck hunting. Oh, Emery's going to eat her lunch, and uh, we're going to be we're going to be all good. Thank you so much. Tune in next week right here in the shallow water. Until then, adios. Peace out.